Orangutans are one of the most endearing and popular animals in the zoo. But these ancient primates have a real fight for survival, as there are as few as 20,000 left in the wild. This is the primate nursery at Wilhelma Zoo in Stuttgart, Germany. The European Endangered Species Breeding Program is run from here. It has many young to care for, including baby chimpanzees, gorillas, and of course, orangutans. Any young primate in Europe who's been orphaned or rejected by its mother comes here. Gundi Sharp is the keeper in charge of the nursery and she acts as mum to many of these young apes. This particular species is pro probably the European species survival plan, which is called the EP, because they try to you know, get uh, unrelated individuals together so in 100 years of time they are not ending up in having inbred orangutans all over the place. There are various reasons why this nursery is so important to future generations of primates. It creates an environment where the apes can learn all the things they'll need to survive, live with each other and care for their own young when they eventually mature. But more importantly, the nursery helps to protect the species' gene pool. Because there are not many of these animals left, experts fear they'll become inbred so they've begun to keep a stud book. The orangutan stud book is kept by Laurie Perkins at Atlanta Zoo in the US. She coordinates which animals can mate. This ensures that animals that are related don't end up mating with one another. Well, being a being a stud bookkeeper for the orangutans involves keeping track of all of the events in the population worldwide. The stud book is the starting point for any kind of captive breeding program and is the species insurance policy. If disaster strikes the wild population, then at least the captive animals will be able to continue mating and save the species. To ultimately end up with a baby, um, you start with a, a genetic analysis of the, of the stud book data and we go through and we run a series of programs that have been written especially for the management of small populations. The stud book ensures the widest gene pool is available for breeding. Stuttgart is part of the captive breeding management plan and works with Atlanta Zoo and others to build up stocks of orangutans and other apes. But these young ones at the Stuttgart nursery are not necessarily there to build up stocks for reintroduction. They also maintain the widest possible genetic diversity, so that if orangutans become extinct in the wild, or the wild genetic pool becomes too small, new blood can be introduced from the captive animals. In an ideal world, the best survival plan for the species is to preserve their natural habitat, but in the meantime, these baby orangutans are the species' best insurance policy.